Hi VR friends, this is Tatiana. I receive a lot of questions about how to install mods on Beast Saber, such as custom sabers, blocks, walls, and other mods. And I decided that I would make a video tutorial that I would describe in detail how to do it, because this is the topic that is quite confusing for many people. And there's going to be a lot of useful information here, so please follow the steps closely. Please feel free to use the timestamps in the description of this video, and also like and subscribe to support my work. There is something really important that I need you to know. The updates and changes to this modding process can happen at any moment, so there may be more steps that are missed in this tutorial. If you experience any issues, I recommend looking at this dedicated wiki page, as it has uh, always up-to-date modding procedures, even if this video becomes a little bit outdated. All the links are in the description of this video. If you are new to modding Beat Saber, the first thing you will need to do is patch your Beat Saber. I go over the steps in great detail in my previous tutorial about installation of custom songs to Beat Saber, so please go to that tutorial and follow those steps. I have a very detailed explanation there, but here I will only go through them very quickly. First, make sure you have the unpatched version of Beat Saber. When you start it, you will see the version of the official game here in this footprint. This means that you have the original unpatched version of the game. On your PC, download patched version of Beat Saber from this website. All the links are in the description of this video. Remember to download the version 1.13.0, because as of now, this is the tested stable version and it is working perfectly. Do not try to open this file when you download it. Connect your quest to your PC, run SideQuest and simply drag and drop this APK file that you have just downloaded to the top left corner. If you don't have SideQuest installed on your computer, please watch my video that I linked in the description of this video. I have a very easy tutorial on how to set it up. After that, put on your quest and start BMBF. You'll find it under unknown apps in your library. Simply follow the steps that you will see in the window. It will ask you to uninstall your current version of Beat Saber, so please do that. And after that, it will install patched version. At one point, it will ask you if you want to restore the original version of Beat Saber. Do not restore it. Click Cancel. Also, when the installation is complete, do not open Beat Saber. Instead, click Done. Again, if you want a more detailed explanation of these steps, go to the video I linked below. And now your Beat Saber is patched, but you need to check something very important. This BMBF version should automatically install three important core mods – Code Gen, Pin Core, and Goodbye Bug. These mods are necessary for all other mods that you will install in the future and for the game to run smoothly, and it is very important that you have them. The easiest way to check if the mods are working is to run Beat Saber. If the mods are working, you will see this notice bar to the left, and also when you start a song, you will see these burn marks, which is a similar effect you get in the PC version of the game. If you see these things, then you are ready to go, but if not, then we need to activate these core mods. To do that, from your headset, click on BMBF file again under Unknown Sources. The Beat Saber browser will open, and at the top you will see BMBF Strip. Click on the tab that says Mods, and here is where you should find your core mods. If you can see your mods here and they are activated, but you still do not see the notice board and the burn marks in the game, then simply disable each mod, then click on Sync button, then enable each of them again, and click on the Sync button again, and then run the game. Again, if you downloaded BMBF version 1.13.0, these core mods should be installed automatically to your quest, and you will maybe just need to reactivate them. However, in this rare case when you don't uh, have these mods, then you will need to install them. This is also the step that you will take uh, to install any mods for your quest, so listen carefully. While still wearing a VR set, again, start BMBF from unknown sources to open this browser. Now, instead of clicking on mods, click on this image of a globe and then click on quest board. It's the first button on the right. This part cannot be recorded through VR, so I use my phone camera and awesome Photoshop skills to demonstrate these steps for you. This screen is actually the same notice board that you see to the left when you start your patched Beat Saber. Click on download mods. 
This is the page with a large collection of mods, but if you scroll down, you will see this huge button that says Download all core mods. Simply click on it and the three core mods will be automatically installed to your Beat Saber. You can now run Beat Saber to see if they are working, and if not, please reactivate it in the way I described in the previous step. And now let's actually mod our Beat Saber! On the same page, while still wearing your VR set, you can browse this awesome mod collection and see if you find something interesting. The mod we will need to add custom sabers, blocks and walls is called Cosmetics. Click on it to download. Please remember that this mod allows uploading custom stuff to your Beat Saber, but on its own it doesn't actually change anything. If you run the game now, you won't see any changes, and that's because you need to upload some 3D models to our game. But before I explain how to do that, you need to know how to get to this website from your PC and not just from your VR set. Connect your quest to your PC and open SideQuest. You will also need to put on your VR set and allow data transfer. If it is connected correctly, your IP address will be on the top left corner. Simply type in this IP address in the address bar and then type in column 50000. But before hitting enter, you need to make sure that BMBF is running on your quest and your headset sensors are active. To keep it awake, I usually just keep it on my forehead or you can also use a piece of paper to block the sensor like this. Hit enter and you will see the BMBF manager. Go to Mods tab and here's where you will see your mods. As you can see, I have three core mods here and cosmetics mod that we have just downloaded from the VR set. It's also important to know how to download and install mods from your PC to your VR set. Simply go to questmodding.com and then click on this tab Released Mods. And here you can download any mod that you want on your computer. I will download Cosmetics again as an example. After you downloaded the mods you wanted, go back to your BMBF Manager tab and simply drag and drop the zip file you just downloaded. You can go to Mods tab to check if it's there and of course, don't forget to click Sync to Beat Saber. This is a very important step. As you know, this Cosmetics mod that we downloaded allows us to install custom stuff, but on its own it doesn't change anything in the game, so we need to find the 3D models. At the moment of this recording, the place with the largest collection of custom sabers, walls and blocks is available in Cosmetics Discord community that I urge you to join. This is also a great place to ask any questions related to modding process. After you join, you'll find your 3D models under Finished Models tab in Public Sabers, Finished Blocks and Finished Walls. So let's download a custom saber first. I like this flowering saber that someone created, and all you need to do is download the zip file. And now let's look at some custom blocks. I can tell you right here I like these accuracy blocks with a Q, so I'm gonna download them as well. And then I'm gonna download some walls, and uh, yep, these galaxy walls look amazing, and I want them. After you finish downloading what you like, install the files the same way you installed the cosmetics mod, by going to your IP column 50000 and drag and drop your files here. Then you can go to mods tab to check if they appeared there. You might need to refresh the page to see them by clicking F5. Make sure the mods are activated and don't forget to click on Sync to Beat Saber. If you downloaded more than one type of the same item, please remember that you can have only one of them activated at a time. For example, if you install two types of sabers, you must make sure that only one of them is activated and disable the other one. However, you can have different blocks, sabers and wall pods activated at the same time as long as they are different types of custom items. Well, I think we've covered it all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck modding your Beat Saber and let's see what we've got.